Now, NBC26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, here's a look at the strongest wind gusts we have seen so far this afternoon and what tops the list Forest Junction and Oshkosh with 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Two creeks in Green Bay were very close behind it at 53 mile per hour wind gusts and then we get into the 40 mile per hour wind speeds from Wrightstown down towards Clintonville. Now we are going to be seeing some drier weather on the way here and it did start pretty gloomy. It was not really a please, pleasant day outside and then we said, oh, well, look at that. The sun came out. Let me go and do something. Oh, wait, it's cloudy and raining again. Uh, so here we are with the low pressure. There was a dry slot that came in, so it almost kind of fooled us thinking that the weather was done. We have some nice, comfortable skies out there, but it was just a little slot of dry weather before the clouds came in and now we got the rainfall. Area of low pressure right now moving across Wisconsin. We've got a cold front boundary extending all the way to the Gulf of Mexico and a secondary area of low pressure that's going to move across the far northern part of the lower 48. So I don't think we'll see any rainfall from that system, but probably a mixture of sun and cloud cover for tomorrow. Here's a wraparound from the system right now, lifting up to the northeast, and we still have some light rain showers to move in here as we do see quite a bit of rainfall that has fallen in the last 24 hours. We've been dealing with some dry weather where you do see the blues that represents between one to two and a half inches of rainfall. It has been raining since yesterday all through today, and these totals will likely increase. Yesterday, we saw just under one inch of rainfall. In the last 22 days, we didn't even get to seven tenths of an inch of rain. With the dry weather we've been dealing with here, that's why parts of northeast Wisconsin have been added to abnormally dry or moderate drought conditions. But with that rainfall, it's certainly helping the situation. Rain continues for the next few hours, then we'll start to dry things out overnight with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Winds will still remain breezy out of the west and southwest. Same thing for tomorrow, but not as extreme wind as what we're dealing with right now. Additional rain showers could pick up another 10 to 2 tenths of an inch of rain. Elsewhere, we'll start to dry things out. As for the time being, still have that wind advisory and high wind warning until 9 o'clock this evening. As you get into the overnight, you do see those dark shades of purple and pink really starting to dissipate. So that means the winds will subside. But winds will still be breezy tomorrow, gusting near 30 miles per hour at times, but not as bad as what we dealt with this afternoon on the back end of this area of low pressure. Highs tomorrow getting into the mid 50s, normal high 49, still above average, but just not as spoiled as what we dealt with in the last couple of days with those 70 degree days. 41 for the overnight low southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour, drying out, but still breezy. 55 for the high tomorrow, southwest winds 10 to 20, gusts approaching near 30. Seven day forecast, upper 40s Monday and Tuesday, at least dry for election day. 60s though, move in here after a warm front pushes northward, but then cooling down. 35 next week for Saturday. Coming up.